Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add and customize your coming soon page of your website. So I'll be covering how to create two different coming soon pages, including one for your entire website, and then also one for your product page, in case you need to create a launching soon page for a specific product or collection. Let's get straight into this video. I'm first going to show you guys how to customize your password page into your store's coming soon page. So on Shopify, you'll want to click online store and then click preferences. We'll just be opening up that password page. This is so that you can customize your store's password. You might see an area that says store access. You'll be able to apply or remove the password from your page. If you're still working on your store, you'll want to keep your password on. To take a look at the appearance of your password page, you'll want to go on to customize your website. Then you're gonna look for the home page button. And this is where you should see a drop down and you should see an option for you to open your password page. So here is my password page. I'm gonna show you how to customize this into a proper coming soon page so that you feel comfortable giving out your website's URL to future customers if your store is launching soon. You'll want to open the sections tab where under template, you will be able to add new sections to this page. And as you can see, there is an email sign up on this page for in case people would like to join the email list. First up, you can click on the password header section and you can choose to apply a brand new color scheme if you would like. You can apply a color scheme that matches your store's branding so that the page is cohesive. Under template, I'm gonna click add section and I'm gonna insert an image with text. This is gonna pose as my banner for the page so that I can remove this banner that appears down here. For the current email signup banner, I'm gonna hide this section so that I can use this as the intro banner and I'm going to click add section again to insert an email sign up to this page. Adding this email sign up is optional, but it's a good idea if you would like to start building your email list. Then I'm going to begin customizing the sections. I'm going to add a featured image just to represent the store and this page. You can add an image of a stock photo model or even images of your product so that customers have a sneak peek of what they're looking forward to. After adding your image, you can adjust the appearance of the image so you can customize the sizing and you can decide if you would like the image on the left or on the right side of the screen. I would play around with these settings until you have a layout that you like. Then you can also change the color schemes of this section. So you should be able to apply a different color scheme to the background of this section and then a separate color scheme for the container. Then when you click on one of the text boxes, you'll be able to customize the heading text, the subheading text, and you can also customize the button label. If your store is not launched yet, you wouldn't really need the button label to link to any specific page in your store. But what you can do is have your button label lead to one of your social media pages in case you would like people to check out your Instagram or another social media platform. In the text box, this is optional if you would like to leave this section. I'm just gonna add a text paragraph, which is just gonna explain a little bit about the brand. And so far, here is the appearance of this page. If you'd like to add some sneak peek images of your products, you can actually do that. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do that. You can click add section and you can insert a multi-column. I'm going to reposition this section. And the best part about adding a multi-column is that you can click on each of the columns and insert a picture so that you can sort of create a collage. And feel free to customize this section however you would like. I'm just going to make a couple of changes just to create a more minimal appearance. And that's just a quick way that you can add a sort of collage just in case you would like to show customers what products you have coming soon. You want to click on the email signup and then you can change the heading text and also the subheading text of this section. If you would like, you can offer an email signup discount, like a discount where customers receive a 10% off coupon code when they join your email list. This can really help motivate people to join your email list. And feel free to also make additional customizations to the email signup. You can change the color scheme of it to help it tie in with the rest of your branding. And you can also choose if you would like to make the section full width or not. So that's gonna be the first way you can create a coming soon page for your website. As you're editing your coming soon page, feel free to use your branding style and even your brand photos from your homepage and your product pages so that your entire website is cohesive. And also, if you guys like this cosmetics website that you see in this video, this is one of my Shopify website templates. I'm gonna have it linked in the description box. I have a variety of website templates for cosmetic, makeup, and skincare businesses, along with other business types 
like clothing businesses. These can help you to save days of time from creating your website, especially if you're unfamiliar with setting up a website and coding. Each of my Shopify themes includes an installation guide, which is a step-by-step -step guide with screenshots to show you how to install and set up the theme. Also, the Shopify theme comes in a zip file format so that on Shopify, you can just click import theme and install that zip file straight into your store. You'll then be able to publish it and customize it. You can grab this Shopify theme from my website. I'm gonna link it in the description box. And once you're done, that's how to customize your coming soon page for your website and how to add a few sneak peeks of your products, a link to your brand's Instagram, and also an email signup section. Next, for in case you need a coming soon page specifically for one of your products, I'm gonna show you how to customize your product page and turn it into a coming soon or launching soon page. First up, you'll wanna customize your website. And what you wanna do is open up one of your products since we'll need to create a separate page template for the product. I'm gonna click default product, then I'm gonna click products and click create template. You can title the page template after the specific product that you're customizing. Then you'll wanna click create template. Next, you'll want to exit your theme editor and we're gonna open that product and assign the page template. So I'm gonna click products. Then you can open up that specific product. And inside the product editing page, you're gonna look for theme template. And this is where you can apply that brand new product page template that we just created. Don't forget to save your product once you're done. So now you've created a separate page for this product. So it shouldn't sync up too much with your other products. You wanna open your website again, and we're gonna open up that product so that we can customize the page into a launching soon page. So currently here's an example of my product page and we're gonna show you how to turn this into a launching soon page, just in case you would like to give out the link to the product. But if it's not ready to be purchased yet, customers will be able to view the product, but not purchase it. I'm gonna click on the product information box and then I'm going to click on the buy buttons. And this is a section that I'm actually gonna hide so that future customers can view this page, but not purchase yet since the product hasn't been launched yet. You can also do the same for the quantity selector. Just simply hide those sections so that later on you can make them visible again. I'm gonna scroll a little bit further down on the page. There is a related product section on my product page. You can choose to remove this section if you would like or customize it further. The main thing is that you'll probably want customers to join your email list so that they can get an email update of when the product is officially launched. I'm gonna hover underneath this section and click add section. And this is where you can look for the email section option so you can insert an email sign up. You wanna make sure to click on the header and add a sort of a call to action to get people to join your email list so that they can get notified when the product is launched. Once you've customized the text, you can also adjust the heading size just to change the sizing of the text. And if you need to, you can click on this section and apply a different color scheme just to help it tie in with the rest of your website's branding. If you'd like, you can also add this email signup at the top of the page. And once you're finished, that's how to turn your product page into a coming soon page. And when the product is officially ready for purchase, you can just go into the product, remove the email list, and you also wanna make sure to make the quantity selector and the buy buttons visible again. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget, I'm gonna have this beauty store website template linked in the description box so that you guys can go grab that. And if this theme isn't your specific style, I have a variety of other types of Shopify themes for beauty, clothing, and even dropshipping stores. I'm gonna link those in the description box below. Don't forget to also grab my Shopify beginners training if you're new to the platform.